No, you see, you're mistaking fashion for style. Style is like a talent. You either have it or you don't. Fashion is just, it's just an illusion for the masses based on the false promise that style is something you can buy. It's bullshit, basically. No offense, but it sounds like you might not be in the right line of work, miss. Oh, everyone wants to work in fashion. It's, it's just something you do. Even if I'm only an assistant, there's a million kids out there who would eat their own grandmothers for a shot at my position. And do it for free. <laughs> Yet, you're way out here talking to me. A guy who wears white tees and cargo pants when he's off duty. I... My brother, father and uncle are cops. I've always felt comfortable around guys in, in uniform. Oh, shit, that's my phone. Miriam probably wants a Cosmo. Or someone to yell at. Usually both. <laughs> yeah, my boss is like that. Funny how all jobs are basically the same, you know. Hey, I got this friend who's a stuntman. Greatest job in the world, right? Or so you think. Only he says, once you've fallen down a flight of stairs, you've fallen down them all. <laughs> that really got me thinking. Yeah. So, um, I'd better get back in. It was really nice talking to you. I'll... Well, I mean, you know my name, so, uh... Yeah. Y yeah, yeah, I got it. Hey, miss, don't let her get to you, okay? You know, I hate where I'm assigned. When I mean, you got Jean-Pierre, he always gets the good spots. I always get the toilets or some other idiotic place where there's absolutely no fun at all. <laughs> You're not there to protect the toilets. Yeah, well, it was... I figure, look, I might as well. So, the celebrities don't go to the toilets? Actually, they do. An, an awful lot. Like, every 20 minutes. No wonder they're so thin. <laughs> yeah, you're right. They crap themselves thin every 20 minutes. Yeah, I think it's some kind of flu. Because they always seem to be sniffing. <laughs> I don't know, I offered this uh, one lovely woman a throat pastel. Because she was in there constantly. And she just laughed. But she was very conversational. <laughs> You're not smart. And you really shouldn't be hanging around the toilets that much. It's creepy. Hey, I have a bladder problem. It's a little content I wear. Look, what, what can I do, okay? It's embarrassing enough already. I don't have to draw attention to it. You don't seem to understand. This car is a prototype. I wouldn't feel comfortable with anyone else driving it, least of all some car park. Sorry, sir. It's regulations. I assure you, our staff will take excellent care of your vehicle. Otherwise, you'll need to find a public space. This is preposterous! I could get you fired. Do you have any idea who I am? Uh, not a clue, sir. But, you know, famous bigwig like you, I'd say somebody's bound to. And, you know, people love to gossip, so... If I were you, sir, I think I'd pipe it down a little bit. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, and we will see about this. Must be a big event upstairs. It's only for the rich clients. Why aren't any of the models going? <laughs> Don't you see? That's how hip it is. <laughs> What's fancy about a party without models? Jeez. You gotta ask. You don't need to know. Well, it makes zero sense to me. Guess I'm stupid. Yeah, I mean, you are, but you're also just not very hip. Hey. You okay? Uh, yeah. You sure? I can smell alcohol on your breath. It's just cough medicine. Uh, is it okay if I check in at home? It'll be real quick. Yeah, sure. Just stay off the cough medicine. I need to be sure we have each other's back if something happens. <sighs> Thanks. Hi, honey. I'm just checking in on you. You okay? Well, yeah, I know. I miss you, too. I know, I didn't want to have to go back so soon. I wish we could have been on that honeymoon forever. No, I know. It's okay. It's... I gotta make the money, okay? And I'm gonna buy you so many nice things. Flowers and shoes and chocolate. I will. I'll get off as soon as I can, I promise, okay? And if I get off a little early, maybe we could get a glass of wine or something. I don't think I will, but if I do, that's where we'll go. Yeah, I mean, the guy I'm with is... I told you about him. He's kind of a, kind of a son of a bitch. 
He's fine. We're fine. We're safe. I'll call you when I'm getting done. I love you. <clears throat> Sorry about that. You know, she, uh, she worries. So, you been married long? Got back from our honeymoon last week. I don't know. I really miss her. Yeah, I've been there. Before the divorce. It's like... I'm sick when I'm not around her, you know? You are a lucky, lucky man. Yeah. I get this problem with my throat and my bladder. It's, uh... I don't know how to describe it. I've never felt it before. Okay, look. If it'll make you feel better, I'll see if I can get you away from here early. You would? Oh, thanks, man. That would be fantastic. I don't know how I would ever... Just name your first child after me. Oh, ho, ho, for sure. You're the best. Oh, I could kiss you, man. Yeah, don't push your luck. Not that desperate yet. Uh, you are so awesome. Have you checked the depot? Which one? There's only one. Another one on the south side. No need. Henri and Ricardo are over there. Besides, who wants to steal a box full of caviar and clothes? <laughs> I would. What? Steal a bunch of clothes? No. Maybe... Nah. My wife's too fat for human clothes. But the food? Yeah, definitely. I'm sure it's all under control. Well, I guess if we're not there, it's not our problem. Amen. Have you seen the other security that's here? You know, the ones upstairs? Oh, yeah, yeah. Nice outfits, right? <laughs> Nicer than ours. Yeah, I feel like a thug with this on. Well, why don't you go talk to them? Maybe you can enlist. <laughs> no. I bet they're, you know, army trained. You know, like in, uh, in the video games. You know, that kind of badass, right? Wait, wait. <laughs> You think they're badass because they play video games? I think it takes a little more training, you know what I mean? No, no, no. I mean, hey, look, I'm still playing third-person shooters, right? The controls are so complicated. I mean, get me to play a first-person shooter, and I'm like, whoa, I don't get this. But I bet you they do. <laughs> You've got to be the funniest and saddest person I've ever met. But more sad than funny, you know what I mean? Well, I, look, I'm just saying, I mean... Look, get off your high horse. I was just saying that they're really cool. All right? Shut up. Hey, bum a smoke? Oh, yeah, sure. So you been inside? A lot of swanky people, man. Eh, you get used to it. I've worked on all the Sanguine shows since Novikov took over. You talk to him? What's he like? <laughs> you kidding? Guys like Novikov, they don't talk to you, okay? They talk at you. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Well, better get these crates to his highness, shall we? Uh, how long till we're on break? I just want to lay down. They just let us do lay down guarding? Is that a thing? We make it a thing? I don't know. Another half an hour? They got a good cantina downstairs at the basement. Yeah, and everyone is so relaxed. Yeah, it's our safe haven. Our lay down safe haven. Yeah, I hear the baguettes are good tonight. Should be some good leftovers. Ah, come on, let the shift end already. <laughs> I agree totally. So, hey, how do you get into your line of work? I mean, you must be much better paid than we are. Yeah, you don't want to do this line. That though. How do you get into your line of work? I mean, you must be much better paid than we are. Yeah, you don't want to do this line of work. That doesn't sound like fun. It's not. And you have family at home that worries about you all the time. It's hard work. So you're a hero. In war, there's no such thing as heroes. Only casualties. So let me give you the best advice I possibly can. Do what you do, and you will stay alive. And your mother will be happy. Yeah. Yeah, you're probably right. I think I'm too old to enlist in the Foreign Legion, so... You're smarter than I thought. Good for you. Stay safe. So, I was in the bathroom before, and I heard these guys talking about an auction or something up on the second floor. What the hell is that about? That's probably some kind of charity event. You know, rich patrons bidding on dates with supermodels, that kind of thing. Of course, it could be a cabal of evil geniuses hell-bent on world domination. Or a vampire coven. Huh. Yeah. They did look like lawyers. You see anything suspicious? It all looks good in the hood. Perfect, but keep looking. How's it looking? Yep, yeah, uh, everything looks good in the east wing. Good to hear.
How's it look? South Wing seems to be in order. Ship shape. That's good. Is everything looking good? Nope, nope. Things look fine here. Oh, I got a feeling this evening is gonna be a breeze. We got any rich troublemakers out there? Nah, looks like uh, business as usual in the North Wing. Good, good. Anything out of the ordinary? Yeah, I got uh, nothing out of the ordinary in the West Wing. That's what I like to hear. I don't need any trouble tonight. Yo, anyone up in the attic? Yeah, the Chief's got a patrol up there. I don't know why, it's just pile of junk. You mean antiques, dummy? It's a museum. No, I mean junk, as in old crap. I'll see you later. You see? I'm hungry. I'll be back in a second. You really think the current government is better? Well, they look out for me. I'm not rich. No, I totally disagree. Our last president, he knew what a bunch of lazy bums you guys are. I mean, it took you 30 minutes to deliver that one small box of foie. Hey, that's union. And no, 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 no. He wanted to take away our job security so the man could hire and fire workers with impunity. That, my friend, that's creating a class barrier. Maybe, but this new guy's ruining everything for the employers. Come on, he's trying to clean up the mess created by you right-wing idiots. Now that's just socialist nonsense. I'm going to the canteen. Uh, look, uh, my apologies, Mr. Wakefield, but Miss Lang is getting ready for the show. I can't allow you inside. I'm sorry. Look, look. Clarence, I call you Clarence. I'm not gonna beg, man. You don't want me to beg. I play the icon, you know? <laughs> the most powerful man in the universe. You wouldn't take me seriously if I did. Which, Clarence, would be a shame. Since I could probably get you a role in the sequel. I'm talking like a speaking role, Clarence. Now, come on. What do you say? Oh, man. I'm sorry, Mr. Wakefield. I'm sorry, but Miss Lang specifically said she wasn't interested. Not interested? I can't even say the word. Oh. Uh, well, you know how models are. It's probably just her nerves. Oh, right. Yeah, it's gotta be it. Nerves. I've heard of those. Hey, whoa, whoa. I'd step back if I were you. Mr. Laren, the palace owner, specifically told us do not touch the museum pieces, and that thing looks A, fragile, B, expensive. Yeah, I, I'm just looking. What is this, Babylonian or uh, Greco-Roman? Look, I don't care if it's the Holy Grail, just, would, would you just back up a little bit? You're making me nervous. Uh, I don't know, it doesn't look quite right, does it? It's too new or something. Hey, you know what? Suit yourself. Do what you gotta do, but you break it, you buy it. Wait, what the? Oh, shit, what did I tell you? Didn't I tell you to be careful? Whoa, whoa, hey, I never, look, don't you lay this on me. Oh, what? So it just tips over, right, Charles? In an empty room. The very vase you were admiring not a minute ago. You don't have to be a detective to figure out what happened here. Hey, look, I never touched it, okay? Let's just get out of here. No one saw us get in. Come on, could have been anybody. Except it wasn't. Was it now, Charles? Just, just, just shut up for Christ's sake. People will hear you. Come on, let's go, let's go. God, they're just so skinny. Yeah, I feel that my skin would crawl if I touched them. That's not gonna be a problem. You don't have a chance. Yeah, thanks. But you know who I do like? Um, uh, what's her name? I met Madison Lang. Old school, curvy. Mm-hmm. Heard she was a raging bitch, though. Yeah, right? Aren't they all? But, uh, hey, have you seen, uh, Sato's assistant? Um, Akiko or something? She seems like a nice, down-to-earth kind of girl. Oh, yeah. She is really, really out of your league. Oh, hey. Nice. Thanks again. <sighs> Tell you what, though. I have to admit, I was hoping to see Camilla Banks. Ah. Uh. Heard she didn't show. That is a shame. She is so pretty. Man, why can't we go upstairs when those fancy suit guards can? Guess there are more important people upstairs than down here. Oh, come on, it's a fashion show. 
We got plenty of celebs down here, and they trust us to keep an eye out for them. So why not upstairs? Look, I just told you. I don't know, maybe they have more important people upstairs. You know, politicians, newspaper mogul. Look, I don't know. Oh, 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 talk about newspaper people. Check this out. I got a picture of that actor from that film. You know the one? No, I don't know. Nice to know you were here, sir. Can't have too much security around. Stay safe out there, security man. Security is tight today, huh? Hey, you can never have enough security. That's what I always say. I feel so safe around guys like you. Eyes open, sir. I dig your uniform. Good day to you, security guy. So who's guarding the mall? <laughs> Are you a mall cop? Wow, lots of security here. Good to see that we're heavy on the security. Good to see that security is on high alert. More security, the better. <laughs> hey, all respect to you. Never cut down on security, right? And you're supposed to keep me safe? Right. Oh, goody! Security has arrived! I don't need a security guard to feel safe. You know, I can deal with my own problems. I'm a big boy. Hello there, security guard. Ah, security. You look well prepared. Go maintain order, sir. Ah, security seems tight today. Whew, not my scene tonight, no siree. Brian brought cake! Wait till your break to go eat it, I. Eh? I love this job, don't you? Hey, see you for drinks afterwards at Shenanigans? Hey, a fellow guard. See you around, man. We need to talk to the boss man about these uniforms again. This polyester sticking to my... Well, God, to everything, man. Security detail rules, yeah! Yeah, man. We look tough. Respect. We got this shit under control, man. Props for the security crew. Security looking hella tight today. Keeping it real, what? Glad to see the security detail here. There is never enough security. Good day, mate. Keep them safe. Let the pros do their job, okay? Maybe someday you'll be a real bodyguard. It's never enough security, right? Security's in the house. More security. Very well. Move along. Oh, sorry. You work here, don't you? My bad. Good work. Yeah, sorry, buddy. I can't let you through here, even if you are security. Sorry, man. Sorry, buddy. Security was just notched up. You know how it is. So, can't let you through. Sorry, not even bodyguards. You need to find another way. Hey! My boss was like, not even the bodyguards come through here, so I'm really sorry, buddy. That's right! Sorry, buddy. Security was just notched up. You know how it is. So, can't let you through. 